In this tutorial, we will teach you how you can design a logo by merging text with a symbol. So let's start by opening up a new document. Over here, we will pick up the Type tool and write the text on the canvas. For this tutorial, let's write Think in the text box, changing the font to Vogue Bold, keeping the font size to 200, and using black color for the fill. Now let's right-click on the text box and select the Create Outline option. This gives us the chance to edit each individual anchor point making up the text. Next, we will right-click on the text once more and select the Ungroup option. Now that the text is ungrouped, let's remove the dot from the letter I and add a symbol over here. For that, we will select the letter, right-click, and select the Release Compound Path option to ungroup it further. With that done, let's select the dot and delete it. In place of the dot, we will draw a thought cloud using the pen tool. What we will do is create nine half circles of different proportions, all connected with each other, forming an oval-shaped thought cloud. With that done, we will add three more circles below the cloud. With that done, we will position the object in such a way that it looks like the thought cloud is coming from the letter I. Once done, let's fill the thought cloud with a linear gradient. We will set the colors to F48020 for the right side, FECB08 for the middle, and FEE9A4 for the left side. At the end, we will change the angle of the gradient to 90 degrees. With that done, let's make a copy of the thought cloud, remove the upper half portion using direct selection tool, and change its color to white. Next, we will place the duplicated object over the original thought cloud and reduce the opacity to 15%. Lastly, we will draw a small highlight inside the thought cloud using the pen tool, like so. Once the thought cloud is ready, select all the alphabets and go to the filter menu. Choose the 3D option and then click on Extrude and Bevel. Set the settings of the X-axis at minus 4, Y-axis at 0, and Z-axis at 0. Change the extrude level to 38, bevel to tall rounded, and height to 7 points. Once done, simply click OK to apply and the logo is ready. Now for the shadow, we will use the ellipse tool to draw an elongated oval at the bottom of the text. With that done, we will first change its color to black, then go to the filter menu and choose the blur option. Over here we will select Gaussian blur and set the value to 10. Once done, let's change the opacity of the oval to 35% and that's it. We have successfully made a logo by merging text with a symbol in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.